is Marian Flint and I'm going to be reading the devotional for today, Grateful Expectation, on this day, Saturday, May 9th, 2020. And our scripture for today is Colossians chapter 1, verses 1 through 14. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God and Timothy our brother, to the saints and faithful brothers and sisters in Christ in Colossae, grace to you and peace from God our Father. Paul thanks God for the Colossians. In our prayers for you, we always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. For we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and the love that you have for all the saints, because of the hope laid up for you in heaven. You have heard of this hope before and the word of truth, the gospel that has come to you. Just as it is bearing fruit and growing in the whole world, so it has been bearing fruit among yourselves from the day you heard it and truly comprehended the grace of God. This you learned from Apophras, our beloved fellow servant. He is a faithful minister of Christ on your behalf, and he has made known to us your love in the Spirit. For this reason, since the day we heard it, we have not ceased praying for you and asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of God's will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding, so that you may lead lives worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to him as you bear fruit in every good work and as you grow in the knowledge of God. May you be made strong with all the strength that comes from his glorious power, and may you be prepared to endure everything with patience while joyfully giving thanks to the Father, who has enabled you to share in the inheritance of the saints in the light. He has rescued us from the power of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. So the devotional for today was written by Lillian Wanzi Akobo from Neath Ireland. And it says, For a few years I have had to wait for God to heal my son. Some days my faith has been made strong and I have felt fired up. On others I have let fear creep in and cause me to doubt and then have slipped into deep sorrow. I continued with this, with this cycle of highs and lows until I found the scripture above from Colossians. In this passage, Paul prayed that the believers in Colossae would be strengthened with patience and joyful long-suffering. The word patience refers to being able to accept or tolerate delay without getting angry or upset. It can also mean cheerful or hopeful endurance. Paul was acknowledging that at times heaven will be silent and we will have to wait. As difficult as it may sound, God wants us to wait with an attitude of joy. The scripture suggests to me that while we wait for an erring child to come back home, we can rejoice. While we wait for our spouse to show up, we can rejoice. While we wait for our baby to be conceived, we can rejoice and give thanks to God who has already given us far greater blessings than what we desire for the future. And while we wait, God is right beside us. While I read this, I thought the lines about while we wait, we can rejoice. It made me think of while we're waiting for everything that's happening right now in the world to end, we can find ways to rejoice in our own lives. And for me, that has been being able to see my sisters because they're home from college now. And while they may not be happy about it, it has definitely been nice to spend more time with them for me. And so that is sort of my way to rejoice while we're waiting for everything to be over. And so the prayer for today says, Dear Father, strengthen us so that we can wait patiently with a sense of grateful expectation. Amen. And I hope that everyone has a great rest of their day and focuses on the prayer focus, which is to wait patiently. Thank you.